you can a computer have a sensation of happiness a and then b can it visualize through a human experience or a sort of perspective free fall in einstein's case well i think that it's important here as in many cases to distinguish between questions of principle and practice uh, i'm on bostrom's side in the sense that in principle i don't think there's any thought that human beings can think that a machine couldn't think also but there's a big gap between making that statement and saying, any day now, we're gonna have uh, theoretical physicists replaced by artificial intelligence, okay? Because I don't think we're anywhere close to that in the near term. You know, human beings get hungry and we get tired and we get cranky. We need free energy as physical systems to survive. We're open systems, we're dynamical. This is something where maybe someday we'll have computers who mimic that and then they'll become very human-like in their thought process. I see no reason why not. But again, I don't think we're anywhere close.